I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about a condition known as dermatitis, but you might also know it better as eczema. So eczema, or dermatitis, is, is an inflammation of the skin that can result in a rash that is red with patches of skin that are itchy, flaky, scaly, discolored, and even thickened. There are three types of dermatitis. There's atopic dermatitis, which is a chronic form that is often tied to allergies to food or airborne substances. The symptoms are typically an itchy rash in areas of heat or moisture, like under the arms, in the groin, or behind the knees. Skin that is inflamed and accompanied by blisters and scaling or thickened skin as a result of chronic scratching. Many different environmental factors can aggravate atopic dermatitis. Contact dermatitis is a reaction to an allergen, something the immune system recognizes as foreign, that the skin has come into contact with. Causes may include cosmetics, perfumes, latex or rubber, metal alloys including silver, nickel, and gold, and poisonous plants like poison ivy or even poison oak. Contact dermatitis can be cleared up by avoiding exposure to the allergen, obviously. Seboric dermatitis is a malfunction of the seboric glands and can result in scaling of the skin. Dandruff is a form of this condition, as is also cradle cap in infants. So what can you do about these conditions? You can definitely treat the body for yeast overgrowth or candida, and enzymes are extremely supportive of improving digestion and immune system response, and also to detoxify the body, reduce inflammation, and improve circulation to the affected areas to promote healing. And while it's good to take a broad-spectrum enzyme with every meal, the one particular digestive enzyme you want to focus on especially is lipase, or your fat-digesting enzyme. So lipase is found in both plant-based and animal source enzymes like pancreatin, and it's one of the simplest enzymes to understand and one of the easiest to recommend, actually, as it's effective for many issues related to fat. And pertinent to eczema, all your fat-soluble vitamins, which we need every day, and that would be vitamins A, D, E, and K, all of them require lipase to be properly absorbed by the body. And so one underlying cause of eczema is oftentimes impaired fat digestion, and this can easily be remedied by taking a lipase enzyme with your meal. And so things you want to look for if you're having trouble digesting fat is do you feel any gas or bloating or constipation or diarrhea when you eat fat or any kind of acid indigestion consistently when you eat fat. Those are good signs to look for to see if you have impaired fat digestion and also if you notice that you begin having skin, tooth, and bone issues. You find out that the integrity of your skin, teeth, and bones is not at all what it used to be. This is a good sign that you are not absorbing your fat-soluble vitamins, and eczema can often be one consequence of this. And so in addition to fat, it might also be a combination food allergy that you're experiencing that's provoking the eczema. So for this reason, taking a digestive enzyme that is tailored for multiple strains of food intolerance would be very beneficial also. This means the enzyme will likely contain enzymes for breaking down not just fat, but also gluten, casein, lactose, soy, phenols, which like what you find in dark colored fruit, Basically, all the common allergens we find in food today, there are enzymes tailored for this purpose. And a great way to take them, whether you have a food allergy or if you think that you might, or if you're not sure, is to take these specialized intolerance enzymes with every meal and also on an empty stomach between meals so they can travel throughout the bloodstream, breaking down any bit parts of gluten or casein or soy or lactose or whatever it is you might be allergic to that might be in your bloodstream and otherwise causing inflammation. This is a great way to support natural immunity and also consequently improve your body's response to eczema among other conditions. Colostrum, nature's first food which we get in supplement form from a cow, is extremely beneficial 
to the immune system, as I've told you, and it's very balancing to the immune system as it feeds and nourishes the native gut bacteria that we all have, your native gut bacteria being the bacteria in your gut that has been there since you were born. That bacteria, even on the worst day of your life, is infinitely more diverse and powerful than any supplemental probiotic you can take, although some people get benefit from taking supplemental probiotics also. The enzyme amylase, when taken on an empty stomach, is very helpful at supporting a balanced inflammatory response, especially in cases of allergic reaction. So what I'm saying is that when you take an amylase enzyme on an empty stomach, the amylase enzyme helps to alleviate the common symptoms of what we would think of as seasonal airborne allergies, but this can also help allergic conditions like eczema also. All digestive enzymes contain amylase, but there are certainly some that have more amylase than others, so look for a digestive enzyme that would have a good high amount of the enzyme amylase. Topically, you can also use some calendula cream or salve, or even a combination of herbs, including calendula and herbs possibly like comfrey root and maybe some shea butter in there and vitamin E oil. Those are all very good at protecting and enhancing the vitality of the skin. Calendula in particular is very good at detoxifying the skin, enhancing skin circulation, and is very helpful in cases of wounds, rashes, dry patches, sunburn, and also eczema. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.